Thanks for joining me for another video. This time we're going to talk a bit more about Surface. I showed a few different Surface changes with my Wild Streak and the Surface tutorial video I did, but we're going to take a bit more basic look at what Surface actually does and how to properly use it. Surface helps to create friction through the oil. When you sand a ball, it's basically like turning it into snow tires. The ball is now textured, and however you look at it, whether you see the peaks on the surface as digging through the oil, or the valleys allowing a place for the oil to go so the peaks can get traction, this is how a snow tire is designed to work. The lower the grit or the stronger the surface, the earlier the ball is going to react. There's a big however here that people don't seem to realize. The rougher the surface, the less surface area there is in contact with the lane. Generally, people equate surface with hook and hook with back end, so therefore more surface equals more back end, which of course isn't right. The more surface the ball has, the earlier it will react and the less overall shape it will have. The reason for this is that the ball is going to have a more consistent level of contact with the lane in the oil or in the dry, the lower the grit is, but again, as you reduce the grit, the percentage of ball surface in contact with the lane is reduced as well. The idea with surface is twofold, to increase friction and or traction and to smooth or blend the reaction. This is why a lot of the time people will use sanded or stronger balls on shorter patterns. They create traction and stability early and then don't bounce or jump when they hit the friction at the end of the pattern. You don't use a urethane ball on a short pattern because it's for dry lanes. You use it because it gets traction early and then is slow on friction. This helps create control. Let's talk about polish now. Polished shine or a higher grit of pad like 4000 will smooth the surface. This reduces the ball's ability to get traction or create friction through the oil, but it increases the surface area in contact with the dry lane on the back end. A polished ball will hydroplane on the oil because it can't dig through it. There's no peaks or valleys on the surface, so the oil does its job. The ball glides down the lane, but when it hits dry lane on the back end, there's so much more ball surface in contact with the lane, so when that smooth glossy surface hits the dry, it's going to respond quickly and sharply, which is it's kind of like using racing slicks on a stock car. You'll want a shinier surface when you have a lower oil volume or when the lanes are drying out to help you get length. You need far less oil to get a shiny ball down the lane than you do to get a ball with surface down the lane. The most important thing you're trying to accomplish is getting the right shape into the pins to get them to carry. It's not necessarily always about hook or back end or smooth or sharp because of what all that is supposed to do. It's about matching up ball and surface to the lanes and the conditions to create the right shape for your game to get the pins down. We've seen a lot on the PBA Tour recently that no matter what conditions been out there, the bowlers have been all over the place with different balls and surfaces. That drives home the point that it's about them trying to create the right look for them on the lanes to get the pins down, because that's ultimately what we're doing. We're not trying to add up the bowling math of this layout and these core numbers and this surface to equal this result. You have to realize that when you ask me about a ball or a surface recommendation or a layout or any of that, I can't really answer those questions. I can give you options based on the information you're giving me, I can compare and contrast ball reactions, but beyond that, your pro shop is going to be your most valuable resource. They know your game, they know the conditions, and there's no simple answer. Because of different cover formulas and different cores, one shiny ball doesn't equal another one or plastic would turn sideways too, these are just some of the very basics about understanding surface and how it works in general. You then have to practice and experiment to figure out how it works with your game, the different equipment, the conditions, and the lane surfaces. Thanks for watching. <laughs>